Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. All right, well today we're going to do something that has been requested quite a lot. Uh, we are going to talk about bullet physics, okay? We're going to apply some uh, dynamic properties to objects and we're going to have them interact with each other, all right? Now this is going to be a very basic, straightforward tutorial. So if you're familiar with uh, bullet, you can skip this one. But for those of you who are wondering what is bullet and what can I do with it, um, you know, it should be good, okay? So in order to uh, demonstrate, I obviously need some objects. So I'm just going to create a cube. I'm going to control D to duplicate, W to move over. And then we're going to hit shift D to repeat that. And shift D, shift D, shift D, shift D. Select all of them, control D to duplicate, pull that row over. Shift D, shift D, shift D, shift D. Select all of it. Control D to duplicate, pull up, and shift D, shift D, shift D, shift D, shift D. All right. So a bunch of cubes, all right? We're going to drag, select all of that. And from our top view, we're just going to pull this kind of towards the center of our grid like this. All right. Okay. Now, before we apply any uh, bullet physics to this, you obviously have to be able to get to your bullet menu, all right? Now, it's up here, and it has all this neat stuff, but if you don't have this up here, you go to Windows, Settings Preferences, Outline, uh, sorry, Plugin Manager, and you scroll down to bullet.mll, and make sure you have loaded and, un and auto load selected, all right? Cool. All right, so I got all these cubes selected. I'm gonna go to Bullet and select Active Rigid Body, and nothing else, okay? So that applies a number of um, dynamic properties to my cubes. And we're just going to hit play on our animation here and just see what happens. OK, hit play. And as you can see, all these cubes are falling straight down through my grid. All right. Now, that's not what I'm going for. I want this to be interactive. So I need to have a floor, right? Now, the cool thing is, if you go to Windows and Outliner, and you scroll all the way down, and we've got quite a few uh, cubes, you can see. We've got 462. We're going to select our bullet solver that has been created, okay? And if you go into the bullet solver shape one, you have the option to scroll down and to select a ground plane right there, okay? We're going to minimize that, and let's try this once again. And we're on frame one, and let's hit play and see what happens. Okay, you can see a few cubes bouncing around, but all in all, they are so perfectly aligned that they end up in a nice stack, and we'll do it again. But the point of this is to demonstrate that they are interactive, that they are colliding with each other, and that this is a nice way to, you know, add some properties to this. But obviously we want to make this a bit more interesting and we have created some active rigid bodies. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a passive rigid body uh, so that our cubes can interact with it. Okay. So I'm just going to take a simple polygon sphere. I'm going to hit R. I'm going to scale that up a bit. Check for my top view to make sure it's roughly in the middle. Okay, and from this view down here, I'm going to make sure that it's sitting on my grid, like so. Let's just see if it's not too close. No, that's fine. So I have my, my sphere created, but my cubes don't know that the sphere is there yet. Okay, so with my sphere uh, selected, I'm going to go up to bullet once again, and I'm going to create a passive rigid body. Okay, and now... If we hit play, you will see that our cubes will interact with our sphere. All right, here we go. All right, pretty cool. So as you can see, they are responding nicely. That's kind of the whole purpose of, uh, you know, the uh, dynamic properties. And you have quite a few settings that you can play with. You can play with the mass of your cubes. You can play with the mass of the sphere. 
although that wouldn't do a lot considering it's just sitting there and um, you know I encourage you to uh, play with these settings I will be doing a more advanced uh, video in the near future but for now um, hopefully this was a good introduction and if you have any questions let me know and I'll help you if I can all right thanks and see you guys next time bye